Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Haze and Blue from Big Lake Brewery is the one for you. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So, this weekend, I know a year from now or six months from now when somebody goes to look at this, it won't be correct, but this weekend is the Michigan-Michigan State game, so we thought that we would do Big Lake Breweries, Haze and Blue, and Sparty... Party. Party. We aren't going to like that one for so many reasons. <laughs> So, uh, this is Haze and Blue. I don't know, does it have the... We did have this at the brewery in Holland. We stopped there, what, a month ago or something For like my that. birthday. Yeah. Um, Brad is not a Michigan fan. Nope. Brad pretended to not like this. Brad liked it. Uh, yeah. So, $2.99. Don't say and you did it. Cents, did at you? Mega Bev and Mega Portage. Bev. 5.5% mm -hmm. ABV, 20 IBUs. It is good. Now, the Sparta, Sparty Party, we didn't try it. wasn't available at the time. Right. Um, but regardless, it's going to be gross. <laughs> it's It could be good. So this, I'm doubting it. <laughs> this is a New England IPA. Man, I can smell it already. Uh, New England IPA. And didn't it say uh, New England IPA featuring Citra and Mosaic hops brewed with real blueberries? I love the can art. I love can art. Um, if you're an amazing is, blue. I mean, some of us are. <laughs> um, this isn't this a take on there? Isn't there a main? I, Lake Hayes, yes. I think. Yes, that's, the one. yep, Lake Hayes. That's so like, this is like a variation of I'm, it. I'm pretty sure that is a New England IPA also. Mm -hmm. I just can't remember what's in that one. Yeah. Like if it's Citra and something else, or if it is Citra hops and Mosaic hops, then this one just adds blueberries. This is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it does have white head, all small bubbles, almost a finger of head. Um, it is, it, it's almost like a lemon, like a hazy lemon color, lots of bubbles coming up. I can't see through this. I've got tons of bubbles coming up in there. Smell. It smells juicy. Yeah, I think Citrusy. it, I, you do get that big juice. I think that... F it, the the fruity part of it is a tiny bit tart. I I can't say for sure because I think we knew when we first had it that it was brewed with blueberries. I'm not yeah. sure that you could really pick the blueberries out of this. And on this one, I do get some like bitter bitterness kind of smell, like a pine. Okay. Like a bitter pine kind of smell in the back. Okay. Okay, let's taste. This one tastes... This is not as blueberry heavy. I thought having it at the brewery, you could taste the blueberries in it. This isn't as um, fruity. Sweet. Yeah, I think this one, uh, the carbonation is high. The bubbles are popping in my mouth. I think from the beginning to the middle of the palate, it's more of a citrus. Yeah. But then it turns into a blueberry, like a faint blueberry. Like you can tell that citrus goes through, then it's like a blueberry, almost like a fruit blueberry, but it's very low with some bitterness in back. Would you be able to tell this was brewed with blueberries if you didn't know it? Yeah. You think so? I'm not getting that strong of a taste this time. Oh. Yeah, in in the back, I you it tastes like blueberries to mm. me. Hmm. And the aftertaste is like blueberries. I don't get that strong of a taste. When we had it out of the tap, we had um 
flight there, and it was potent. I thought it was more warm. blueberry. Yeah, and it was really really good. This just tastes like a New England IPA for okay. me. I, I think it is good. I would still stick with my original score, which is a 4.25. Um, I Actually, I would go down to a 4 out of a can if they're this carved. I think that carbonation takes away from a little bit of it. And I don't really remember how much blueberry because I still get it in the aftertaste. Like my mouth is like blueberry, really? like a citrus blueberry. Do you want to taste no. mine? No. <laughs> I don't remember what I scored it, to be honest. I don't know if I even did. I'm guessing that I did. I don't know. I mean, I would go four out of five because I know I scored it higher than that at the brewery because it was more of a blueberry flavor. Yeah. But I still like it, whether or not it tastes blueberry or not. <laughs> so if we look on untapped, uh, six of my friends have had this average 3.71 out of five. Under... And uh, everybody, so there's about a little over 500 people, have also rated it 3.17 out of five. Go down and see if I'm there. Crushable New England IPA. I don't remember. Somebody's phone. You gave it a 4.5. A 4 point, but yeah, see, it was blueberry, it was more blueberry heavy, which I really enjoyed. It was a, a nice take on, or a nice variation on a juicy, what are you doing? Stop, don't touch the can. I, I, Stop. We have to see what's no, underneath it. You, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> You're just like your kids today. It's the Leroy Brown one. It's fine. Leave the label alone. It's cool. Not Did you I... like this beer? Yeah. So I... you'll admit it on here, but you make faces at the Whatever. brewery? Well, the team sucks, but the <laughs> beer's good. Whatever. Got to keep things spicy in the marriage. Clearly, I'm the Michigan fan here with my football earrings and my... Hayes and Blue yep. Beer. This See, is my idea, not Brad's. So we were going to do like a matchup of them uh, and do them both at once, like a double review. But because Sparty Party is like a, isn't it a double it's New pine. England IPA or something like that? It's it's a pine. And this is more blueberry. We decided not to do that. So we'll we have. We decided. Well, Jessica turned me down. So. Well, because you can't compare. A blueberry beer to a pine beer. Right. I just don't feel that that's even fair. And I'm sure that the Spartan fans, I'd like to know if the Spartan fans, Drew, liked the Sparty Party. Well, he's probably not going to watch it, so you might as well not call him out. Uh, but he's going to drink it. Right. And um, whether or not you're a Michigan fan, I would try this. Yeah. I mean, you could get your friend to buy it for you. You can always you put see. a koozie over it so you don't have to carry around. It's the same color as Notre Dame, so you could, you could totally turn it around and drink it, Brad. Like, I just wanted Brad to admit that he liked something that was related <laughs> to Michigan football. Yeah, so it is Michigan. a good one. Definitely, if you're around the Michigan area, I don't know how far they distribute, but definitely one to pick up and try. It's not your standard New England fruit juice bomb but right. it, it, it's a good take on it and it, overall it's a good beer for three dollars it's probably okay i would like to see it at 250 because it's only 5.5 percent abv um but for three dollars i could see picking up a four pack and drinking it you don't i would, you I would just take the label off you don't want to see it at like a dollar 99 because it because of the words on it <laughs> well I, discount yeah, would you should, buy it at a discount it should be given away free <laughs> Whatever. Talking all this smack. Go down. To, let's go down to South Bend and find some leprechaun juice. Yeah. <laughs> and see how well that will go for us. That's so disgusting. Let's find some. But yeah, definitely a beer to pick up and try. So if you like this review, hit the thumbs up. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell when you so you know when new videos are coming out. Make sure you share this. And until next time, happy brewing.